Hi folks, today I bring a driver for a LED segment display. It is the reference is PT6961. It was the management capacity of 6 digits with 12 segments or 7 digits with 11 segments. I give as one example a clock application with an infrared receiver to control 3 LEDs but which can adapt to the number of controls they need with the help of the MOOCs. The panel I use is from a Philips DVD-R player with the reference DVD-R3480, but it is also present in device of the another brand that use the Philips solution or in the same design as other panel manufacturers. The display itself has some unusual segments, so it requires a construction of the digits to represent and that depends on the position of the digit you want to control. So, you may have to use a switch box to help select the symbol according to digit to be uh, lit. Highlight this amuse you. Here I just give the, the, the tip, ok? I use two buttons uh, to exemplify their use. They can be adapted in any other panel observing the bits read in the monitor of the Arduino IDE. The infrared can be used to set the clock, or reset the counter, fast forward or rewind, etc. Just observe the entry code and adapt to desired one based in your uh, control remote uh, okay this is the connections you need to do it to to bring the life of the panel again okay you can see here you have uh, four points with the gnd you have the data in you have the clock you have the strobe data out vdd the output of the infrared receiver um, is coming out with a resistor of 100 ohms um, also you can see here the um, distribution of the segments uh, by each digit A, B, C, D and so on and here you have the format of the um, all group of the display The code uh, I have done to test the panel is running over Arduino and if I uh, do it a reset you will see the start of the, the message in the display also you can observe a lot of the tests segment by segment After finish the the, the tests, um, the the display stay with the the, the counter like a clock, but uh, is necessary uh, correct because the, I I don't explain explain the time to to implement it uh, so so clear is necessary. Okay, I have done also um, a code to read the buttons. Okay, if you press the button, you have the possible to see in the COM of the Arduino in the PC, which is the sequence of the, the input. I already have done this in the other videos, by this reason uh, I think it's not relevant here. I implement also a, a code to receive the infrared code and after um, with the, the, the number I receive activate or not a LED okay switch on the LED is on now if I press again the same key uh, is off on off and the three on off okay I implement only uh, three codes um, to the um, activation of the, the LEDs but of course you can use the number of LEDs you need.